Hi, I'm Mark Barsamian. In this video, I'll be discussing tangent line problems involving logarithmic functions. This material is from section 3.2 of the book, Derivatives of Exponential and Logarithmic Functions. But the book does not actually discuss tangent lines in section 3.2, and there are no similar examples. There is a corresponding homework. It's this collection of two exercises from section 3.2. So to start with, let's recall our growing list of derivative rules. We have the early rules, uh, the constant function rule, the, the power rule, the sum and constant multiple rule, and then we have these rules about the derivatives of exponential functions we learned a few videos ago. And then we have these new rules about the derivatives of logarithmic functions that we learned in the last video. The derivative of ln of x is 1 over x, and the derivative of log base b of x is 1 over x ln of b. In today's video, we're just going to do a single example. We're going to find the equation of a line tangent to a graph of this function at this x value. So all that's new here is that the derivative will involve a logarithm. Other than that, it's the same old deal of finding the equation of a tangent line. So our solution should start as all of our tangent line solutions start. We should write down what we're going to do. Remember, that's the point-slope form of the equation of the tangent line. And then remember what we always do next, we find the parts. We need to get that part, we need to get that part, and we need to get this part. So the first part that we need to get is this number a. That's the x-coordinate of the point of tangency. We're told that. We're told that the x-coordinate is e squared. The next thing we need to get is this, f parentheses a. So our result is that f parentheses a is this number 11. Now note the things that we did along the way. This symbol, f parentheses e squared, means that we substitute x equals e squared into f of x. So we replaced the x in this symbol for f of x with the symbol e squared. The next thing we did was we simplified e squared cubed is the same as e to the sixth. We use that property of exponents. And then we use the property of logarithms. ln of a to the b is b ln of a. And then finally, we use this convenient uh, x, y uh, pair that we know about the logarithm function. ln of e is the number 1. All right, now we have f of a. All right, so our next job is to get f prime parentheses a. But before that, we need to get f prime parentheses x because this symbol means to find the formula for f prime of x and then substitute in x equals a. So we need to find the derivative of f of x. But before we can do that, we need to rewrite f of x. So the rewriting involves uh, this log property, ln of a to the b is b ln of a. Why do we need to rewrite it? Well, because our function f of x has ln of x cubed, and we need to find the derivative. We can't find the derivative of something that's ln of x cubed. We have to have something that's just ln of x. Okay, we've rewritten f of x. Now let's find the derivative. The result is the derivative is 3 over x. Now notice what we did here. We used the sum and constant multiple rule. We have a sum, so we end up with a, a sum. Notice that the 3 is a constant multiple, and it slips right through that derivative symbol. 
But the number 5 is not a constant multiple. It's a constant function. So it's got to stay inside. It gets snagged by the ddx, and it's got to stay inside and endure having its derivative taken. When we take the derivative of 5, it's a constant function. Its derivative turns out to be 0, of course. And when we take the derivative of ln of x, well, we use rule number 1, and we get 1 over x. Again, ln of x is not the same as 1 over x. It's the derivative of ln of x that's equal to 1 over x. Okay, now we're ready to substitute in uh, x equals a in order to get f prime parentheses a. So there's our f prime parentheses a. Now, I forgot to label our earlier part. When we found f of a, we got this number 11. That's the y-coordinate of the point of tangency. And when we found f prime parentheses a, we got this number 3 over e cubed. That's the slope of the tangent line. So we've got all of our parts. We needed a, f of a, and f prime of a. And we've got a, f of a, and f prime of a computed. Now we're ready to substitute parts into the tangent line formula. We'll do that on the next page. So there's our equation for the tangent line in point-slope form. Because remember, the equation that we started with is the point-slope form of the equation for the tangent line. So we should convert this to slope-intercept form. So we simply solve for y. So there's our equation, y equals 3 over e squared, that quantity, times x, plus 8. Notice, there's our number that's the slope of the tangent line, 3 over e squared. Okay, there's a part b for this problem. Part b is to illustrate our solution on the given graph of the function f of x equals 5 plus ln of x cubed. Well, so we're going to have to draw the tangent line, but let's first label the points. Um, remember, we have a point of tangency. We know it's x, y coordinates. The x coordinate of the point of tangency is e squared. That should be a number, well, e is close to 3, so e squared is close to 9. Uh, the y coordinate is the number 11. f of a was the number 11. So the x, y coordinates of the point of tangency are x equals e squared, y equals 11. Notice that makes sense. This point is a little bit above that grid line. The grid line is, is y equals 10, so it makes sense that the y-coordinate of our point of tangency is 11. And look, the x-coordinate of our point of tangency, e squared, I said it's uh, pretty close to 9. Well, 9's over here. Uh, e squared is, is around 2.718, and so when you square that, you actually get a number that's closer to 8 than to 9. But anyway, it makes sense that this point is located where it is. Now we have to draw the tangent line. Now let's go back up and look at our formula for the tangent line. y equals 3 over e squared times x plus 8. Well, that 3 over e squared is going to be hard to visualize when drawing a slope. But think about this. We know that this tangent line has to go through that point of tangency, and we can spot its y-intercept, it's going to be at 0, 8. So there's our tangent line that has slope that's that crazy number, 3 over e squared. The point of tangency has coordinates x, y equals e squared, 11. And the y-intercept is at y equals 8. That's the end of this example, and that's the end of the video. Thank you.